time, let's turn now back to our weather forecast because, Michelle, we saw more rain, we saw hail. What can we expect as we head into tomorrow morning? Yeah, it'd be nice to have some quieter weather for Mother's Day, but we can't rule out some showers for tomorrow afternoon either. So it does look like we're going to have to still deal with at least a couple more days of some unsettled weather, but that's not all. We're going to be dealing with some chilly mornings as well. So perhaps uh, if you gave your mother or planning on giving your mom some flowers to plant, might want to keep those inside where it's warm. Today, a few sun breaks allowed our temperatures to climb into the upper 50s this afternoon. That's still well short of our average high, which is now up to 65 degrees. Our average low 42. We weren't too chilly this morning because we had uh, quite a bit of cloud cover, but the next several morning mornings could bring some frosty conditions. As far as rainfall today, not quite as much as we saw yesterday. Uh, five hundredths at the Spokane Airport, but looking over the last 12 hours, uh, not really counting what we saw all day yesterday. Uh, Spokane Airport picked up 507 inch Pullman just under two tenths. Moses Lake just got a couple of drops there, but Sandpoint and Coeur d'Alene uh, more than a third of an inch of rain. Of course, we could still see some lingering showers this evening, especially across the higher terrain and Sunday and Monday may bring more showers as well. 52 right now. Finally, the rain is let up at least briefly at the Spokane Airport. Winds out of the southwest at 18 miles per hour, ushering in some cooler air into the area. So we're looking at cooler temps on Mother's Day. Highs only in the lower 50s, so any uh, clouds that we have out there, any rain showers is certainly going to make it feel colder. And I think we're going to see a few showers tomorrow afternoon, not quite as widespread as we saw here today, at least in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. And then potentially frosty mornings, not uh, for only for Monday, but for Tuesday and Wednesday as well. High temperatures will only be in the lower 50s. We are going to keep those cooler than average temps around for the entire week. So uh, what do I mean by cooler than average temperatures? Well, as I mentioned, the average high right now is 65. We should actually be seeing highs climb into the upper 70s, but we'll be struggling to even make it up to 60 degrees. It looks like Wednesday and Thursday uh, would be two of our warmest days. Well, Friday as well in the upper 50s, but uh, just shy of that 60 degree mark on the weather map right now. Upper level low pressure still across South Central Washington, uh, but as the sun gets lower in the sky after sunset, we'll see a lot of that shower activity die down, but it'll come right back up with our next low pressure system moving in for tomorrow afternoon. So I think those showers will start firing up uh, for the afternoon and early evening hours on Mother's Day. Future tracker though, outside of the higher terrain, things will start to quiet down this evening. Should be mostly cloudy overnight. Above 3,000 feet with those cooler temperatures coming in, we could be seeing a little bit of snow, uh, just a couple of inches, but above 3,000 feet. That's not uh, very high up there this time of year. This model is a little bit aggressive with the snowfall, showing a lot more of that on Monday morning. Not sure that it's going to be quite cold enough to see uh, any widespread snow in the lower elevations, but certainly some cool temperatures and some additional showers for the start of your work week. Highs tomorrow, upper 50s and afraid on Moses Lake, but as you head east, getting a lot colder, 53 in Ritzville, only in the 40s for Coeur d'Alene, Sam. Point St. Mary's and Newport highs only in the 40s for Kellogg and Pullman, lower 50s for Bonners Ferry and Colville, and in Lewiston, only high of 55. Here's a quick look at that extended forecast. And as I mentioned, cooler than average temperatures all week, but we should finally see some drier conditions by the middle of the week.